really need the men trying to holler though. I'm engaged. But my, 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 look at here. Look at here. Hello Knockouts, Tanya TKO here. And as you know, I'm a self-love specialist from TanyaTKO.com. I help you learn how to love yourself and each other. And as you know, I'm the author of a new book. The title is Gold, so you can't really see it on the camera. But I'm an author of a new book called The Book of Affirmation, Self-Love. And it's a colorful workbook for you to be able to rewrite your subconscious programming. And we're going to have to get a book like this to Aisha Curry. Because listen, Knockouts, we're going to be talking about her today. My, 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 my. You're going to want to see what I found. So there are receipts. So, uh, so Aisha doesn't get... Um, <laughs> She doesn't get attention, does she? She's craving for attention. But I'm going to show you a tweet about how she responded when she did have the attention. So listen, so, to, so, so, so tune in to the next part of the video because I'm going to show you exactly what it is that I found. And before we get into that, I need to tell you all, this is the last week that I'm selling the vitamin E. Orders are going to start shipping out May 20th. And as you know, my skin is clear because I use the vitamin E. And I'll show you because you guys know with this white dress on that I did not put on any brown foundation. And listen, this is what I want. I don't even have on concealer. It's seven o'clock in the morning. I didn't get much sleep last night. And this is what I want for you all. I want for you all to be able to wear white clothing or hug your boyfriend without getting brown makeup all over his all over his his shirt or on the pillowcase or feeling self-conscious about not being able to change but I want you all to have beautiful glowing skin with natural highlights popping that melanin so last week to order okay so make sure that you get yours listen don't complain when it's gone because when it's gone you have to wait till next year i sell it once a year so go to tanyatko.com forward slash shop i'll put the links below and as you know this video is sponsored by the vitamin e my my videos going forward will be sponsored by the self-love book uh so listen so go and get that so let's jump into these tweets boys and girls oh you know what first let me show you a tweet that I got, or not a tweet, a comment that I had gotten on my Facebook page. So please do continue to comment, continue to send me things because I do read my comments. As you know, I interact a lot. So there's a young lady by the name of Olivia and she said something that I thought was really significant. She said, her brand is wholesome. She's a celebrity who was presented to us as a Susie homemaker wife with probably the only faithful man in the NBA. Lord of mercy. Now she's upset because men aren't climbing over fortresses for the chance to be rejected by her so she can feed her ego. That comment, you know how, you know like dew from the sky, how it just comes down and settles down on you? Hmm. Then that led to some digging. Look at what I found. Look at what I found. Listen, listen to this. So there's a there's a person, um, IGZ Rap, right? You can go look at the tweet yourself and you can go back and you can dig yourself, right? But my, 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 look at here. Look at here. <clears throat> he says, Aisha Curry out here praying to be noticed by dudes other than Steph. Just so she can go back to tweeting like this. Listen. This is her. 2011, I believe she made this tweet. At the auto bell, getting a much needed car wash. Don't really need the men trying to holler though. I'm engaged. Jeez. Off the market. Exclamation. Smiley face. Really, Aisha. Really, 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 really. Listen to that. Listen to that. All right. So this is from 2011 when she was, I guess, newly engaged or whatnot, right? And she's out there tweeting on the internet. She doesn't need the attention. First of all, 
she's putting out she's putting out content so you know what this is the this is the let's let's talk about the whole story let's put all the pieces together let's put all the pieces together okay so she presents herself in this manner where she'd rather be classy than mm. trendy right so let's start with that okay then people try to holler and then she's like I don't need this attention jeez but I guess this was see I don't know when Riley was born but I'm sure she was born after I don't know 2011 I don't know I don't know so was she even a mother then right so she's newly engaged she's feeling herself she's smelling herself right and she's like I don't need the attention boys leave me alone <laughs> Jeez, engage, right? Okay, so this is what she's doing, right? Then, years pass by, right? Steph's, Steph's popularity has grown. He is the most famous person. He's the face out there, right? Now, she's the person in the background known as Steph Curry's wife. Then she's sitting back there all conservative. Some of you have told me that she's even a Christian, so I don't know. I don't know right so listen now it's all it's, it's all coming full picture okay so she's the christian wife back there with her 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 bow ties or her shirt tied up to her neck right everything all conservative and tr not trendy classy or classic right now she's a mom of three men ain't really hollering they already know they know that she is, that she's taken. They know that she ain't with it. So like, so, okay. So people have been asking me the question. All right. And I'm like, you know, attention doesn't have to be aggressive. Attention can be just a lingering stare, someone helping you with something heavy. But really, if she has the air of, you know, I uh, just, you know, stay away from me, right? If she has that air or had that air or built up that air, right? What is it that she's really expecting now at this point? You know, and so listen, so I think, and I think my theory from the beginning was, was right. Because, you know, she's light complected. She says she's from Canada. She got those light eyes. She came over here to America when she was a teenager. And so she's 30 now right so she's 30 now 2011 she must have been what 23 right to co correct my number so that was more 2011 so she was what 22 right so she was 22 she was feeling herself she was young dumb full of fun i'm just gonna put it that way right and the men were hollering. Had she's used to this attention. She came over here. Men were probably falling or boys were probably falling all over themselves. And she started to think that she was the ish. You know what I'm saying? Then she gets married to a super famous person. He's the front runner now. She's in the background. It, you know, her face has gotten a little big in the red table talk. But I was looking at her legs. Her legs still look slim, right? So has she gained weight? Years have passed. She says she hasn't gotten attention in eight, in, in 10 years. Right around the time that she started putting out this, I'm engaged, I don't need this, that, and the other. That was around the last time that she claims that she got attention. The girls on the panel, the other women on the panel says that she's just not paying attention, but she is getting attention. So what is really going on here? I want your thoughts below because I know what my theory is. And my theory is shifting now at this point. There was somebody, like I said, keep making your comments because your comments penetrate, right? There was somebody who made a comment and they were like, she just wants to know that she has options and yeah i can understand that because steph curry is constantly receiving the reinforcement that he has options right and he is fate well we don't know if he's faithful but he seems like he is in this marriage out of choice i guess nobody really wants to feel like they don't have the choice of being faithful and then especially if you were used to being the pretty girl the pretty chick who used to get all of that attention and now you're faithful of course 
But I personally think that it is a dangerous realm to be in when your partner knows that you can't go nowhere, male or female. I think it's a dangerous realm to be in. Does she, is she jealous that he's getting this attention and she's like, oh, I'm just in the background? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I do know this. And I'm going to end the video on this because my mind is swimming all over the place and I don't know. When I was in college, <clears throat> I had a light-complected female roommate, right? And she used to go out and give boys, give young men her number, right? And we had a little phone in the dorm room. And the boys would call. And she would be like, Oh my God! And I'm like, well, why'd you give him your number? And she she used to go on about, oh, how they're sweating her. Remember they used to, remember the slang back in the days? Oh, they're sweating her and all this and the other, oh, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, you know, it was really all about ego. It was really all about ego. So the boys would call. They would want to take her out back in the day. Look, before internet, when, when boys still wanted to take girls out, listen. They would call her and she'd be like, oh, not a, oh, tell them I'm not here. Just, and then she would be like, yes, yeah. And then get off of, you know. And I, I asked her, I was like, well, well, then why, why, why are you giving them your number? And then what ended up happening is they stopped calling. And guess what happened? Guess what happened when they stopped calling? Then she was like, oh, I'm bored. Nobody likes me. I'm bored. Nobody likes me. And I was like, but when they were calling, you were, you were dissing them. You, were, you, were, you, weren't, you, weren't, you wasn't respectful to them. You wasn't treat. you know, it's like, and then this parallels to me. This parallels. Men often talk about the conundrum of women, how women say one thing and then do another. And I think that this is a case of that. It's like, you want attention for what? To do what with? So they could climb over your fortress <laughs> only to be rejected? You're going to reject them anyway. But I guess there's a part of her that still wants to know that she got it. There's, a, there's an underlying reason. And the life coach in me wants to get down to the bottom of it. If there's anybody out there who knows Aisha... Tell her to contact me because I really, I want to, I want to get down to the bottom of it because there's, there's something that's lacking. There's something that she needs, but it's probably not the male attention. For all of you out there who are gathering that there are other things going on behind the scenes or beyond the scenes, you're right. Something else is happening underlying because like with my college roommate, it really wasn't about, there was something, there was a dearth, there was a lack that, that didn't exist there. And so we need to dive deep into what's going on underneath the hood with Aisha Curry because something is happening. And I'm curious now to really get to the bottom of it because it's not about, because she doesn't want the male attention. She's not looking for the male attention. But yet she's lacking something. She's lacking some sort of validation. She's lacking some something that doesn't exist there on the inside. And like we said before, she does have mental health challenges to the point that she takes medication. So there's a chemical imbalance that exists there for which is corrected with, with external substances, right? There's much more happening, much more happening. So on that note, listen, I'm going to get out of there. Make sure that you go to my website, tanyatko.com, and go to the shop area. Get your book now. They're shipping out this week. Go get your vitamin E. I want you to be able to wear white turtlenecks or anything that you want to wear without having to worry about pulling it up and down over your face or head. All right, so listen, on that note, I'm going to get out of here. I love you all very, very much. Go out there and love one another, but most importantly what love yourself love yourself and part of loving yourself is diving deep into especially when you see that there are things that just aren't aligning the 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 inconsistencies that exist on the inside the things that are just not paired up 
Loving yourself is diving into those things to figure out what lie underneath, what lie beneath. Because something else is going on, not just in her, but in all of us. There were people on my Facebook page who was like, oh, she has a perfect life, or she seems like she has a perfect life. But nobody's life is perfect. Look at this challenge that this young lady's having. And all of our issues are very real to us. And there are people out there who are telling me that I need to promote self-love to Aisha Curry. Yes, you have to meet people where they are. Part of loving yourself is being forgiving of yourself and being forgiving of other people. Meeting them where they're at to assist them in getting where it is that they want to be. So there's something that she's lacking. Have the compassion enough for a person to figure out, to assist them if they want your assistance in figuring out what's lacking and perhaps just holding a mirror up to them about it. I think that this tweet right here is a mirror and I think that it is a call to action for deeper delving. And please let this just not end with Aisha and what's going on in her life. Let's look at yours too. What inconsistencies do you have in your life? Do you claim that you want to be financially successful, yet you always find yourself struggling? Do you claim that you want to be in a healthy, functioning relationship, yet you constantly find yourself giving people a chance that you know are not a good match? Are you desperately seeking attention and validation from the outside because there's some, but not really wanting that attention because there's something that's lacking inside? Loving yourself is diving into those things. All right? And so on that note, Tanya TKO, and I'm out. Peace.